Hey everyone, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this 3D light rays in After Effects without using any external plugins. So let's get started. Let's start with adding a text layer and position the text at the center of the composition window. Now let's add a solid layer and let's pick a gray color and let's name it Floor. Then turn the layers into 3D layers and we're going to rotate the Floor layer and place it below the glow text layer and then scale up the floor layer to cover up the whole composition window also let's pre-comp this text layer and then we are going to add a camera for the camera we are going to keep the preset as 28 millimeter and also let's add a black solid background we are going to keep it a 2d layer next we are going to add a light so for the light, we are going to add a point light and check the cast shadows and press OK. Now for the point light, we are going to move the light in Z space behind the glow text layer and let's move it slightly up and let's place it over here. Next, select the text layer and press A to open the material options. So we are going to turn on the cast shadows and now you can see the similar effect. Now if you find that there is some distance between the shadow and the actual text layer, all you have to do is adjust the position of this floor layer. Now if we move the light, the shadows are also going to move with it. Next for the light, we are going to increase the intensity to around 220 and from the shadow diffusion, you can soften up the shadows a bit. So we are going to keep it 14. Now we are going to add some 3D light rays. So. Let's start with adding an adjustment layer and let's rename this layer. On this adjustment layer, we are going to apply an effect called radial fast blur. And now for the zoom, we are going to change it to brightest. And from here, you can increase the amount. So we're going to give it 90 for now. Now to add a light ball, we can add a circle shape layer and convert this shape into a 3D layer. And under the material options, we're going to turn off accept light Let's place this under the adjustment layer and then we are going to push it back in Z axis. Now if we move these light rays, you can see that 3D light effect. Now if we change the camera angle, you can see that the shadows are not properly aligned with the light rays. That's because this CC radial first blur is a 2D effect and we are currently working on a 3D environment. So to make this effect work in a 3D environment, we have to add expressions. So let's add a null object and let's name this point light. Now select the 3D rays and we're going to add an expression on this center under the radial first blur. So we're going to pick whip this property with the null object. And then we're going to add a little extension of this expression, which is dot to comp zero comma zero comma zero and add a semicolon at the end also let's convert this layer into a 3d layer now if we change the camera angle you can see the light rays are properly acting with the 3d environment now we are going to intensify this light rays even more so we can add a curves effect and let's put it above the cc radial first blur and we're going to compress the light and then go to modes and change the blending mode to screen and here we can see more lights coming out now we are going to do some color grading so again let's add another curves and this time we are going to change it to green and we are going to make some purple light now we are going to add some smoke glowing effect so let's start with adding a solid layer and let's name it fractal noise and let's apply fractal noise on this layer. Let's change the fractal type to dynamic. Let's increase the contrast to around 140. Under the sub settings, we can add some rotation to add a little variation so that we can get some smoke fiery look. Now let's animate the evolution. So we're going to apply an expression time multiplied by 140. Also change the blending mode to none now we are going to apply a mask on this layer using the ellipse shape also let's add some mask feathering so we're going to add around 200 now we are going to do some color grading on this fractal noise but before that let's apply solid composite and change the background color to complete black and then 
apply curves and change the channel to green and let's pull it down to get this purple look. Now we're going to change the blending mode to screen, convert this layer into a 3D layer and then go to material options and turn off accept light and then we're going to push it behind the text layer in the Z axis. Now you can see this floor layer is cutting out some of the portion of this fractal noise. So for the floor, let's change the blending mode to screen and let's push it even further and let's move it above. Now we can duplicate this fractal noise layer one more time and move it reposition and rescale this layer and vary the settings of the fractal noise. Also vary the position of this fractal noise in Z axis to add some depth in between. Now if you change the camera angle, you can get this cool effect like this. Next we are going to add some 3D edges on the text layer. So duplicate this title text layer and put it above this adjustment layer 3D rays and also under the material options we are going to turn off accept light and also turn off fast shadows. Now we are going to apply an effect called bevel alpha. Change the edge thickness to 5 and the light angle to minus 8 to get this upside look for this light edges and the light intensity to 1. And now we are going to change the blending mode to screen. Now we are again going to duplicate this text layer one more time and put it below this layer and under the material options we are again going to turn off the fast shadows and accept light and then again apply bevel alpha. This time edge thickness 3.2 and the light angle as minus 32. Light intensity let's keep it 0.6 and go to the position and we're going to push the text a little bit in the Z axis. And now we're going to do the final color grading. So let's add the adjustment layer and apply curves again and change the channel to green. Now we're going to move it down to intensify this purple color. Now for this 3D rays, for this first curve effect, we have kept this curve completely stiff. If you want, you can even curve it up a bit. All it's going to do is it is going to smooth up the lights and the darkness values. So the light rays are going to be faded. And now finally to add some reflection of the smoke on the floor, we can add another fractal noise on this floor layer and then change the fractal type to dynamic and then go to evolution and add an expression time multiplied by 120. Now to animate it, all you have to do is animate the camera position. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you learned something important from this tutorial which you can use in your future projects. So that is it for this video. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.